everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas. I'm going to do a funnel pour using this funnel on it. And first I'm just going to go over my paints and then I'll um, turn the camera off, get my uh, base coat down and get my funnel ready and then I'll bring you back. But um, I watched Jilly Cube that's G-I-L-L-Y, last name Cube, K-U-B-E, the other day on her channel. She made a lot of um, homemade paints, mixed her colors together to bring up something unique. And that gave me the bug to make some of my own paints up. So that's what I've done here today. And I'm going to go over them. Um, the first one is, I just, this one is just the uh, Folk Art Pearl White and I used the mix today and added water to thin it out. So that's this paint. This luscious color here, and I will show you, and consistency just a trace. Beautiful color. This color is um, silver, and I added uh, just a blob of Amsterdam black. Liquitex Basics Phalo Blue and a little blob of the Liquitex Basics Deep Green. And by blob, I mean just a little bit. And again, I mixed that with the mix. And my pouring medium is seven parts of the mix, one part paint. So when I say silver, the one part is the silver. And then I just added blobs of those other three colors. My next paint is this very pretty color again mixed with the mix and all that is is Liquitex soft body muted violet the next color is I added silver to that muted violet just the Liquitex basic silver and the muted violet just again just a little blob of that muted violet and I got this very pretty color Okay, my last color is um, this really, it's almost like a pewter. And this is one of the ones I think Jilly Cube had made up. So it's silver with just a blob of the acrylic Amsterdam black. Just a combination. This would be the one part and then just a little teeny blob of that black. So I will bring you back after I get my base coat down and we'll get started painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my um, base coat and it's just the Artist Law Flow Acrylic White mixed with the mix, seven part mix, one part paint. And by the mix, this is what I'm talking about. If you're unfamiliar with this, this is two artists that just came up with this mix and it's wonderful. Um, all you have to do is mix your paint, one part paint to seven part mix. And then I did add enough water for this certain pour um, for the right consistency. And I will um, put their um, link to their um, shop um, in my description. I did not add any silicone today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little puddle of my base coat in the middle to set my funnel in and then we'll get pouring. This is the first time I've done this type of funnel pour. I'm just going to be bringing it up and down every so often as I pour the paints in there. I'm just getting my sticks out of my paint here to make it a little easier for me. And next I'll put that gray in and some of the white. So 
some of the muted violet and some of the silver with the muted violet. Such a pretty color. And I'll just keep repeating my colors here. Okay, I think this will be enough paint, but if not, I can add some at the end here. So I'm just going to be bringing it up and down like this. There we go. I think that's plenty of paint. And I am going to give this a torch. Such beautiful colors in there. Okay, and now I'm going to start tipping. And I am going to try and tip slowly here. And I'm going to run it off this edge here and bring it right back. I really do want to keep what white I have in there. And I will bring that back to the center. And now I'll tip this edge off and bring it back. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at this now. Cover my corners. It's just beautiful. That muted violet. So pretty. And now I will tip off this corner. And bring it back. Again, trying to bring it back to the middle. The only thing I can say about this painting is these are very romantic colors. Nothing bright or striking, but just so very pretty and muted. OK, 
Okay, and now I'll get this last corner here. And I'll bring that back. Okay, I'm just going to take a look at it now for composition here. I do how, like how I'm getting these striking lines in here with that muted violet. And I do like this white in this area. I do have cells coming up here. They are popping up. So I'm going to do another torch here. The middle is beautiful. This co combination of colors just turned out really pretty. Okay, I'm just going to take another look at it here. I'm just cleaning the bottoms off here. Let me get my little tool to clean the bottom off. I really don't think I want to tip it anymore at all. I think I just really like how, how the composition is. It's just beautiful. And I will turn it as I think the composition would go, hanging it on the wall. This would be the top and at the bottom as you're seeing it. Just gonna take another look at these corners and cover them. Trying to pick up a color of paint that matches my corners. best I can and I think I will get you down for a close-up again this is a 12 by 12 inch canvas that I did a funnel pour on and here is the upper left hand corner And just going down the left hand side here you can just see how pretty those lines are there just gorgeous and in here the muted violet this is the lower left hand corner let me take you up the middle this is one of my favorite spots in here and I think I am getting that, um, the cells from that pearl white that I added. See how pretty that is in there. Just the different layers that are coming through. And this is the upper right hand corner. And just taking you down the right hand side stripes in here are so pretty and this is the lower right hand corner so let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you like this video
and please share it. That is important if you have another artist friend or just someone who likes to look at art or is getting into this acrylic pouring um, art. Um, that would be great to share it and ring the bell. Choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.